Hi, and welcome to Acceptio, where we are building a positive consent experience for over 60,000 websites using us today with cookie banners, scanners, and more so that your customers can have a positive experience while you're staying compliant. We'd love for people to jump in and get started. So I've already signed in and you will click create a new project. Once you click this, you type in your website URL and what you want to name the project and tap create. So I have just done this for a website called Chasing Creative. So now once you go to this page, you'll see my cookie banners, which you can use, like I said, with the credits, or if you upgrade, you can do my TCF cookie banners if you are a publisher, my general terms and conditions that I want folks to engage with, and my marketing consents if you want to have a more robust system as far as capturing those different integrations. And as you know, there are several of those, and I will show you here all the different ones that we already connect with and then also have documentation to get started, making it easy for you. But let's start out with my cookie banners. Once you click in, you'll need to create a new configuration, and you prompt this button here, you tap, and now easily you have a new project underway. Okay, before we dive into customizing the banner, I wanna show you how easy it is to integrate. Now you might be using Webflow or Shopify in which we have apps that connect very easily. But don't worry if you're not using those platforms or you have a custom tool or you just have a process that you wanna use your own way. And guess what? You can do that by clicking here to integration on your website. So what we want you to do is take this script and put it in the footer of all your pages. So you will copy this script there and have this to load on the pages. Again, if you need any help, here is the documentation for WordPress, Shopify, Squarespace, and many more. Many of you are probably using Google Tag Manager. You can also use that to connect. And if you have any questions, please let us know and we'd be happy to chat with you about that. And you'll also have some opening settings that you can customize here. Hide the Acceptio button when a user has completed the process. So that button that's in the corner. Ask for consent again if a new vendor is present on the project. Close the widget pop-up with the escape key when element is in focus. So there's all these different things that you can do to customize your experience. You can also pick pages with the URL specifically that you do not want this to show up on. Great for other folks that are using apps or custom builds and wanna have that complete control over the experience. So now let's go back to the fun part, customization. I love this about Acceptio in the platform. You are able to customize everything from where you position the title, the context alignment, all of these things can be changed to the way that you want. A subtitle, welcome, home, make it friendly, add your personality into here. We want you to have the best experience. So all these different things to customize, the messaging, additional information, and then of course going down to the accept, reject, and close actions, which you can toggle off any way that you would like to, almost instantly, to give the experience that you want and make it easier to find. Obviously you can highlight here, you can show purposes if you want to, so you can have this displayed here, toggle on and off. And we also allow you to customize this illustration here. Now we give you some fun ones that are applicable to most websites, but this is where we get fancy. You can come in and change the banner to look exactly like your brand, providing a better experience, a UI and a UX experience for your customer to really identify with your brand. So we encourage people to customize that. And again, you can align those illustrations the way that you want. You can paint the background color if you want to or remove it. As you can see, it toggles on and off here. You can add a privacy URL as well. So now you have all of these different things that you can do including editing the button text of going to next or back, whatever you would like it to be so that you have a full experience that matches your brand language. Because that's what we're all about is allowing it to match your brand. 
And voila, once you've done that, you've created your own cookie banner the way that you want, and you can create that experience that's first class and provides brand value. So once you save and quit, You'll go into here and see what else you might want to set up. Now we are consent mode V2 compliant, which back in March you needed to do in the EU. So you can toggle that on and it actually will show you here the changes that folks can click on and engage with. And you can then go into the settings and update from here. I encourage you to click the learn more on advanced settings if there are specialties that you need to change. But here again, it's as easy as toggling on and off what your team needs. And if you have any questions, please let us know. We're always happy to help. So you also can do a contextual consent wall, which is going into here, a special screen that requires users to make a decision. So before you can pop in, you can have a wall there with that approval. So this makes it a lot easier for you to control the experience and make sure that they're getting this consent banner pop up, but this is up to you to choose. Again, updating the title that you want. If you have different languages that you want to showcase, if you have different regions, we encourage you to update that here. So you can see we do have a consent banner uh, AI that you can change the language. We always encourage you to check that, but you can easily update into the language of your choice, which is great. And then you can also click onto the language in the region that will also change as you can see depending on where you're at for what you need to be compliant with for that regulation. So we do give you that walkthrough and, and encourage you to see the total version that you're using here and what you might need. Okay, let's scroll down here. Now there are more advanced configurations, which we encourage you to check out, which I mentioned are the custom widget button text, also the integration on your website to connect to GTM or wherever you need to be. You also can add more collaborators here, which allows you to extend to your team post setup, anybody that needs to customize maintenance or send off to a developer to do this for you. So once you do that, you save and quit. Before I head out, I wanna show you that there are a lot of different things in the app that you can customize. And we'll talk about those on later videos. This one is getting started with a project, but we know there's a deep dive that you guys want to be able to see exactly how you can get more out of this tool. It's not just another banner. We go a step ahead. So you hit these different stats. You can see the consent rate of users coming to your website, those that are clicking and interacting. Obviously, the better the consent rate that you have, it means that it's a great experience and that the customers are allowing you to use that data for remarketing purposes. We also give you the color style guides that you can change, project details, analytics connectors. If there's any tools you want to connect with, you can easily do that here to be able to track. And we also provide detailed documentation for you as well. But we have Piano Analytics, Google Analytics 4, Plausible, Amplitude, Fathom, many more. So just please check with our team if you have any questions. Again, you can see this here in the tool panel where the little cog wheel is, and that will give you all the different information. Now you can manage your subscription if you need to upgrade. You can see your billing invoices, users on the account, and more, and then the statistics, which I think is a great feature that you're not going to see elsewhere. So if you have that project created now, you will simply click publish. I have not put this on the website yet, but you can say, hey, this is the product to select. I'm going to go with brands because I created a brand. And voila, this is now published on my site when that uh, script code is put in properly or connected through the app. Now, if I need to create other versions for different reasons, I can easily clone here and duplicate. I can unpublish if I wanna hide it for now or we've updated to a newer version, but I don't wanna delete this one. And then I can translate into any language I want. It's as simple as that. And again, Google Consent Mode V2 ready. I hope this was an easy and understandable walkthrough and getting started with a project. And it should give you courage to go for it and set it up yourself because it's fairly easy and this would only take approximately 10 minutes for our average user. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Our team is on standby. They are experts and have been doing this globally to make websites more compliant and capture the data that they need to while providing a first class positive experience for our customers. You did it. You set up your first project on Acceptio. Congratulations. If you guys have any questions along the way, please let our team know. This might be the first of many different projects because you could be a developer, an agency, have multiple initiatives or languages, and we want to be there for you along the way to build a positive experience 
for your users and customers. Thanks from all of us at Acceptio.